heater damage from the recent winter storm that came through Texas. Once the power went out, I winterized my pool equipment based on some instructions our pool builder provided. The pumps had been running until the point the power went out in the middle of the night, and then I winterized it about six hours later. A few days later, when it warmed up and everything thawed out, I got everything put back together, repaired a broken pipe, and started powering things up. My in-floor cleaner and water feature pumps started up without issues. However, when I started up my filter pump, water started spraying out of my heater. I did fail to open the air release valve on my filter as the pump was priming. I'm a new pool owner. I've never had to do this given that I'm in Texas. Is it possible the pool heater survived the freeze and only broke because I failed to open up the air release valve? Do you normally see breaks like this at the heater water intake due to freezing and overpressurized system or both? That sounds like the header froze and yeah, the Well, the, um, the air release out of the filter shouldn't be an issue. Uh, more often than not, that's never gonna, never gonna be a problem, especially if your pump's on like a, uh, some sort of clock or a timer or something that turns on and off. If, the, if there is any air in the system, it'll just work its way out. So that would not be the problem. Um, sounds like the, the manifold froze. I mean, depending on where the water's shooting out of, I'm guessing it's either, it, it's probably the headers. And unless the heat exchanger itself split, which is a possibility, well, I guess it also helps to know what kind of heater you have. Uh, I mean, if you have a master temp, then maybe the uh, combustion chamber is flooded or, well, you said it's spraying out. So more, it's probably one of the manifolds. Um, so really the only thing you can do is kind of open it up to see where the water's spraying and see whether or not, or basically how expensive the fix is gonna be. But not opening your filter should not have been an issue. If everything wasn't drained, and especially the power was off, you didn't get a chance to blow your lines, then even with pulling plugs and stuff, if it was frozen enough where water had frozen into place when you turned it on, it could have kind of hit a, hit a frozen pipe and the water, water's always going to seek the least path of resistance, so hard to say for sure.